what I have going on tonight is I have the Sky Raider DS 2.3 Plus. I have it set to monochrome mode. And I have it in my C8 with Hyperstar at F2.1. And in the scope, I have an Orion H-Alpha 7 nanometer filter. Right now, I have a 30 second exposure at maximum gain. I try to increase the, the brightness and let's see what happens. And I'll probably have to lower the dark point on the histogram. So maybe I can put in what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay, so I have a DS 2.3 plus. Mono mode. HA7. I don't want to give it all. Okay. Oh, mosquitoes. Did it get dark yet, or is the sky still blue out there a little bit? Sky is still blue. Looking right above the neighbor's oak tree. Hey, Ski. Tonight I'm doing something different. I have the DS 2.3 Plus. I have the Orion H Alpha 7 nanometer filter. I'm in my 8 inch Hyperstar at f2.1. And I've set the camera for mono mode, maximum gain. I have a dark applied. And the sky is still a dark blue. But I just wanted to play with the, the 7 nanometer filter. I ordered a 2 inch version today so I could try it with the uh, DS16M. It's my first time trying this. I've seen uh, Dewey do it, doing this a lot lately. I'm trying to lower the white point so I can get it a little bit brighter. It's funny. Uh, <laughs> the colorful warm pixels are actually showing greenish even though I'm in mono mode. <laughs> 
but they're not bad. Yeah, Dewey's like born again. He's he's going nuts. <laughs> well, he kind of inspired me to try this. Uh, like in talking to Rock, if I had left this in color mode, then everything would be shades of red. Uh, but uh, by going to the grayscale for the camera, then that's what it shows up in, in shades of gray and black. Yeah, they're very small. I, I do have a a dark applied. Like I said, I am 30 seconds, and I did the 30 second dark with the gain at 60%, and right now I'm at 100% gain because the filter really cuts out a lot. But it's uh, not 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 a bad looking image. I don't know if I can. I think Triffid's going to be too low. Oh Lord, I'd love to try Triffid in Lagoon. Let me see. That would be a Meridian flip because you're on the other side of the Meridian. Maybe in a little bit I can try them because then it'll be past the oak tree. Okay, and there's okay. Yeah, I think in a little bit I'll be able to get them. No, it's lower, but there's a notch in the tree line in that direction. So let me. I was looking for a list of targets to try tonight, uh, and I wrote them down and. They're in the house. So now let me change to a different target. Let's see what the eagle looks like. Slew to and center. At Telescope slew into target. Why is it doing a meridian flip? Ah, it's one Telescope slew complete. I think the battery's dying in my remote. Okay. No. <coughs> Where's the eagle? What do I have to do? It's 30 seconds. It raise. Whoa, okay. Well, there's a 30 second single frame. Okay. That's not bad for 30 seconds. So now let me do a. This is not binning. I'm I'm in just the in the dark supplied. That's a single thirty second exposure. Let me do a deep sky average stack of five. Enable. Okay. So I'm gonna do average stack of five. I wanted to get familiar with using this filter because even if you get a, a full moon, you can use uh, the H alpha 7 nanometer and uh, how come it's not 
What's going on? Okay, jump, 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 jump. Dark field. Okay, deep sky average spy and enable. Okay. Okay, why did the software stop working? Okay, let's stop the exposure. And let me start the exposure. Start a loop. Okay, now it's looping. Okay, it's looping 30 seconds. And I want to average stack 5. So let's see what happens. Here's the first one. It's building another one. I can zoom in a little bit and see. Okay, so I got the OK, so now it's going to start averaging them. Not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> the pillars of creation, you can really see the pillars right above the eagle's wing. Yeah. The uh, the hot the warm pixels are showing up more now because I've pushed the gain, I've raised I lowered the white point. Maybe I could raise the black a little. Out of 15, let's see what that does. Okay, there's now, now it's you know. yeah, well, yeah, it's it's the broadcast quality, you're gonna lose some over the broadcast, but uh, I am really pleased with what I'm seeing tonight. So yeah, I lowered, uh, erased the black point, so it got a little bit darker. That's the maximum zoom, 400. That's 200. 100. That's 75. I'm going to go to about, a, about 75. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah, I said I was going to be on what, about 8 o'clock, I think I said. Yeah. Very interesting. I ought to set up the software to capture images. Do I have my do I have my terabyte drive and, and hooked up to the computer? Let me see. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go here to Options, Preferences, Auto Capture, Bitmaps, Every. No sense in going any more than 30 seconds because I'm in 30 second mode. And I'm going to save them where? I'm going to go to my passport. DS 2.3 plus. DSOs. Okay. Apply. Okay. And go file and go to capture, auto capture. Now the software is going to start capturing an image every 30 seconds at the very bottom. 
you see auto capture zero of 100 right right at the very bottom right next right above the uh, you can't read it it's a little bit blurry but it says auto capture zero of 100 Lower the gamma a little, and I'm going to raise the brightness a little. Okay, let's see what that does. And since I'm averaging, it's going to take like five refreshes to uh, average out the changes I've just made. How you doing, Jim? Doing an experiment tonight with the H alpha seven, 7 nanometer filtration. I mean, this is maximum zoom. That's full field. I don't have a dark that matches the amount of uh, magnification that I'm doing. <laughs> well, I've been having this Orion uh, H alpha 7 nanometer, one and a quarter inch filter for years, and I never did try it out. So tonight I decided to uh, put it on the DS 2.3 Plus, which is a color camera set the output to grayscale, put the filter on, and then put it on my 8-inch Hyperstar, the, the scope I had at the Grand Canyon Star Party, and uh, see what happens. And it's not disappointing. Yeah, that, if you remember, that's the scope I had at the Grand Canyon. It worked out very well. Especially with the star sense, because I can get it aligned so fast, and I had the targets at 8:40, 8:20 uh, in a blue sky. <laughs> I may try swinging down to Lagoon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't fun. Well, it's sort of like me the other day. I had uh, my digital SLR in the back seat of the truck when I was in Huntsville. Went to Walmart, got some provisions, went to put them in the back seat, opened the door, and my digital SLR fell out of the, the back seat onto the asphalt parking lot and bounced and shattered the uh, the IR filter I had on the front, the UV filter. Luckily, that's the only thing that happened, but uh, cameras don't bounce very well on asphalt. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can get Trifid. I mean, not Trifid. Yeah. So let me stop the live stacking. I was average stacking images. So now let me, uh oh, Lagoon Nebula. Okay, let's go to Lagoon. Slew to and center at first. Telescope slew into target. It's not going to go that far. Telescope slew complete. I got my pier as tall as I can get it. So, okay, 20 seconds and a 30 second exposure. Whoa, that's going to be nice. Holy moly. Okay. Um, bingo. 
Well, do I want to play with these controls before I start? Went back to one. Okay. I'll go to brightness of 40, see what that brightness of 40 does. Man, that is really nice. No, auto capture is not a. Uh, oh, yeah, auto capture is engaged. I'm, I'm grabbing, I'm on auto capture 11 of 100, and it's still auto capturing. Okay, so that may be too bright. So let me. And we'll go to the 20 on the brightness. Okay, let's see what that does before I start averaging. But you can see a lot of the dark H, uh, dark uh, nebula in there. Pretty neat. I think I still have my dark applied. Dark field is still, yes, it's still applied. Okay. Okay, that looks, that doesn't look too bad. Um, I mean, I could clip a little bit more with the, uh, and the white. Let's see what happens if I go to 175. Let's look at the next one. And then if that looks good, then I'm going to start average stacking these to smooth it out. And I mean, Dewey's got, oh, that look, yeah, that doesn't look bad. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's looking good. So now I'm going to a deep sky, average stack, five, enable. Okay. So now I'm average stacking five. Yeah, this, the, the DS-16C I was using at the Grand Canyon with this scope, I was getting almost three degrees measured diagonally. It was 2.98 degrees according to astrometry.net. This sensor is 13.4 versus 22 millimeters for the DS-16C. So I'm at 1320 seconds, uh, about 60%. So maybe 1.8 degrees measured diagonally. If I can do math in my head. <laughs> okay, so now it's it's got... Uh, That is, that is pretty. <laughs> I mean, the amp glow is there because I pushed the gain up really high. Uh, but if you zoom in on Lagoon, nice. Yeah, yeah. Dewey got me thinking about doing this when his all his work with his uh, seven nanometer H alpha filter with his uh, was a two hundred millimeter lens he had sticking on the DSM. I have my DSM here. I was going to play with it if this didn't work because uh, normally you would have just uh, if I had left it in a color mode, everything would be reddish. Uh, but I put it the camera in grayscale mode and then. This is what I'm getting. I am impressed. <laughs> I'm thinking of a few other targets to try. After this, I'm going to go to Triffid, which is right next door. Uh, Dewey's been doing like the Bubble Nebula, the Crescent Nebula. Uh, I could try and see if I can get part of the North American and Veil. Uh, It'll be an interesting learning experience. I have to keep getting the hand off the screen because I'm recording the screen. I'm going to have this nice little hand right in the middle of the nebula. <laughs> Very nice.
I'm surprised there's not more people on. I did announce it on NSN Live Facebook and on the group. These objects take on a whole new appearance at, in 7 nanometer. Impressive. Well, now I'm going over to the triffid. Let's center on the triffid. Ingo, slew to and center. Telescope slew into, into target. target. That was a big move. So now let me stop the live stacking. Telescope slew complete. Live stacking is off. Yeah, that little, yeah, I see that little shock wave like at the edge of the nebula. With the star inside of it. Jim could uh, explain the uh, dynamics of what was going on there. <laughs> okay, this is a single here. So I might as well hit the enable button and just let it enable and let it start averaging, average stacking. Let's see what happens. See, I knew Jim had the answer. <laughs> I like, in this, in this Jim, in this, in the Triffid, the, the center little uh, triangle dark nebula pointing to the left, to the right, what is the cause of that? It's like the 830 position right in, in, near the center. Wait a minute, I lost the uh, reflection nebula. Oh, so why, why, why did I lose the, uh, the blue nebula? It was there, and then all of a sudden, with the stack, it... Got eradicated. Hi, Brian. I'm following in Dewey's footsteps tonight. I got the DS 2.3 plus. I got the uh, Orion H Alpha 7 nanometer filter. I had the camera set to mono mode. And I'm on the Hyperstar 8-inch F2.1. But I'm wondering what happened, what caused the reflection nebula to go. It was there when we started the stack. Hmm. Yeah, the swan was really neat before. I don't know if you, if you all missed it. I can go back to it because we're still in the same area of the sky. Uh, I mean, the the you can see the uh, hot and warm the warm pixels because I don't have the right dark. I did a dark at a sixty percent gain, a gain at thirty instead of fifty, and I've gotten the gain pushed to max right now. If you have the gain at max, 30 seconds. Um, most of the parameters are pretty close to defaults. I'm going to raise the brightness a little bit to see if that will push out the, uh, the nebula on the top of the triffid. I'm in grayscale mode.
That this should have this should have darkened it up. I mean brightened it up going from 200 to 150. I think it's stuck for a second there, folks. Now I'm going to go back. Let's see. Let's see. Let, oh, I zoomed out too much. I'll go back to Omega. I mean, that was nice earlier. Does that mean a Meridian flip? No, I'm, I'm on the east, west side of the Meridian now. Okay. Slow to and send. Telescope slew into target. Yeah. Telescope slew complete. You're right above the tree, maybe. I wish I could have cut that big oak tree down. Oh well. Live stack. Let me turn the live stack off. Oh well. Okay. Sometimes I gotta stop and restart the loop. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm gonna stop and record 